Thank you, Mr. Courtney. Mr. Wilson, you're recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chairman. And Mr. Secretary, uh, I, uh, my wife's a teacher. I just have such a re high regard for the education profession. That's why I want it to be local. I believe in local elected school boards. I uh, did not favor the creation of the Department of Education. Every effort of devolution power back to the states. We've got a great superintendent, Ellen Weaver, in my home state of South Carolina. Uh, every way to send it back to elected school boards is what should be done. Every school district is different. Uh, and every um, community is there different within the school districts. And so the federal government just can not possibly uh, understand or address the issues properly. With that in mind, another issue, of course, that you've just referenced, with Section 117 of the Higher Education Act requires institutions of higher education that receive federal financial assistance to disclose semi-annually to the U.S. Department of Education any gifts received and any contracts with a foreign source that alone or combined are valued at $250,000 or more in a calendar year. Your administration has decided to remove this Section 117 enforcement to the Federal Student Office of Federal Student Aid, which has already overworked. Um, what, what is the status of these reports? And uh, this is really critical because we've got dictatorships today, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be war criminal Putin, it could be uh, the Chinese Communist Party, it could be, uh, we know, the uh, regime in Tehran. Um, uh, all are trying to, through disinformation, uh, destroy our country. Uh, and, and so what's being done to try to stop any disinformation? Thank you for that question, uh, Congressman. And first of all, um, happy Teacher Appreciation Week to your wife and, and to all the teachers across the country. Um, you know, Section 117 is a very important section, and uh, we take the uh, responsibility of communicating gifts very seriously. We've reported close to 39,000 foreign gifts worth $21 billion already. We, we believe that transparency is critical. Um, and having it move under FSA uh, allows us to do that more succinctly. As you know, we're a member of the FBI's National Counterintelligence Task Force. We communicate regularly to ensure that the uh, law enforcement arm or the investigation arms are uh, informed with information that we have. So that system is working well, and I agree with you that we need to protect our schools and, from and, foreign influence. And you don't have to do this uh, right now, but I would like a, uh, a question I would like uh, for the record, if you could get back with me, as to what is the status of maintaining these quarterly reports. Okay. Uh, this is just critically important because it's so sad uh, at Yale, Stanford, and Harvard uh, in particular, there have been countless examples of raging anti-Semitism on the campus. These schools also had Section 117 investigations under the Trump administration. Your department has opened Title VI of the Civil Rights Act's investigations into these schools in the last few months. And we, we again see uh, dictatorships trying to impact the American people as they're trying to promote uh, their totalitarian, authoritarian uh, view of the world. And we've just got to be prepared. And are you coordinating the Open 117 investigations with the Open Title VI investigations? Thank you for that question. Uh, we have, uh, as you know, an, a significant increase in Title VI investigations since October 7th attacks alone, uh, over 100 new cases um, that we have, which is why we're asking for uh, an increase to make sure that we have enough investigators to move on these cases. Uh, we take into account depending on the investigation uh, request, um, we take into account uh, many different factors. So I, while not speaking generically, I can tell you that our Office for Civil Rights does take into account different factors when uh, requests come in for investigation. Well, I, I'm really greatly concerned. The uh, FBI, uh, 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 Commissioner Ray, Director Ray, has warned that uh, an attack is imminent here, or attacks are imminent across our country, and they can be facilitated uh, by not acting against these uh, anti-Semites who, hey, from the river to the sea, uh, that, that's just a uh, code for uh, murder of the people of Israel. And we know that the Hamas uh, covenant of August 18, 1988 provides Section 7, that you chase every Jew behind a rock and tree until you find the last Jew, and then with the last Jew behind a rock, you... And, and, let, and, 
And let me make, uh, let me restate and make clear, because uh, all of God's children should know, and that is that Section 7 of the Hamas Covenant calls for chasing every Jew behind a rock or tree until you find the last Jew behind a rock and you kill him. And so it, it should be known uh, by uh, all Americans, and this should not be uh, misunderstood. With that, I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Mr.